Today I'm going to take the Epic Shed and we're going to go into the Epic Garage as well and do a little fall decluttering with Amy of Waverly Organizing. So I met you on Instagram. Yep. And mutual friend. Mutual friend. And so we're going to take the shed. Let's show them the shed. I wouldn't call it, I mean, you're the expert. You tell me, is this crazy this messy? It's not that bad. Not at all. You're definitely very minimal. Um, I think too, a lot of people who work in a creative field like you, they are working on creating and less so on the stuff. The systems. The systems. Yeah. So that's why it's smart to hire a professional organizing company like Waverly, because we can organize everything. Everything that you need for your life is suddenly at your fingertips, yeah. at your eye level. This is the dream. Yeah. And the so dream. It takes you, it actually affects you emotionally in a way where it takes you from like the lower part of your brain, which is kind of like survival chaos, mm -hmm. into the higher thinking, creative, beautiful way of living. That's so, where I need to be. Yeah. Yeah. So the steps here, like let's just take a look at the shed as it is mm -hmm. right now. Like what's your initial read on the shed? So it looks great, but there are, it's a little bit of wasted space on this wall. Totally. So we want you to be able to see every single tool that you have and need in an instant and make it so that long term and in two years from now, it's going to be manageable for you. Still the same. And yeah. easy to keep. So we brought pegboard. Okay. Pegboard this whole area. We're going to really maximize floor space and get all your tools right here. So you're going to walk in and you're not going to waste your precious daytime work hours searching for things. Oh. Or a lot of times people too, they come in, they're like, oh, I'm going to leave. You know, That's like, what I do sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's just easy. So we're going to eliminate that. So your days like are going to be compounding in productivity. There yeah. we go. Yeah. What about this? What about this zone? Like, I feel like I half did this, this side almost. I see that you value, um, organization but like halfway <laughs> you do but it's to be honest like it's really difficult to do it in your own space but mm -hmm. it's not difficult for us to come and do it in a way that makes a lot of sense because this is what we do we yeah. do exactly the tools and you don't care about the items like i do so it's there's different a lot of emotions like when you're a homeowner and this is your own space there's a lot of emotions tied to each and everything where it's you're like i am gonna leave like yeah. i just can't yeah. do it but that does catch up with you over time so we're gonna organize everything it's gonna we're gonna do it all in one day oh my and god the rest of your year your next few years it's gonna be a system that's gonna be easy to maintain it's gonna serve you like yeah. your space yeah. will serve you so the first step what, what's like the philosophy i would imagine you kind of have to take everything out first every single tiny item every we sweep every piece of dust every Sometimes mouse poop. I don't oh, think you have that. I might actually. We, People on this channel know I've been battling the rats. <laughs> we take every single thing out. We wash it all down. We put like items together. We put in our shelvings, our system, our containers. Yep. We label them so that later, at the end of the day, the you're dream. tired. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be tired. You're going to be like, where does this shovel go? You're just going to talk. No, you know where it goes. We put a label It'll on say it. shovel. It'll say some, yeah, some something like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It'll depend. Once we get everything out, we'll know what you have. Yeah. And then the next day, you'll wake up and you'll be like, where's my stuff? Oh, it's right here. Oh. Because I am now an organized person. You know who we're going to need to send you to is the Garden Hermit's house, my my garden assistant, Jacques. We, we might have to send him over there, Jacques. <laughs> <laughs> we are definitely down for that. We are really inspired by this garden. Like, yeah, yeah. As much as we're helping you, I feel like I'm already learning a thousand more things. Happy to help. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get to it. Let's do it. All right. Most of the debris is out of here almost but i'll show you what's going on right here so just a really simple pegboard installation probably we'll do a little bit of cleanup here at the top at some point but right now just getting organized i think is, is the key so the only other thing i'll do with a section is cut a strip that will slot in right there and cut a strip that will slot in up to the top right there the next step is a little bit harder because i have to determine what in my garden collection i actually don't need uh, or don't want and so that's going to be difficult because there's like duplicate tools that's like the third hammer i have i don't know why i've got all sorts of different fertilizers and so this part is going to be a little a little tough moving along here we have the pegboard starting to get organized so all of the easy access gardening tools are going to be hanging out here they're building some shelves to move a lot of the fertilizer and garden stuff over into this area because it's kind of wasted space and I think this table is sort of suboptimal so putting some shelving together still making my way through the tools and supplies over here a lot of stuff I'm going to either list or donate I get a lot of gardening supplies from people that I either don't end up using or don't end up liking and so I need to find like a responsible way to get rid of that stuff and a good way is to give it away so that's what we're gonna be doing 
We are fighting the rain and the wind and I was on a call for two and a half hours. So I've come out just now to see what's going on. So I'm gonna snap my fingers and the door will open. <laughs> Look at this. I can already tell I like it. All right, so, well, first of all, let's just take it in. So what have we done here? We've put these, oh my, look at these pegboards. So notice, first of all, the floor space. So yeah. now you have full access to walk up to where everything you own is. You can walk over here. We utilize the whole vertical space to increase visibility yeah. for everything you need. So you don't have to dig for stuff. You don't have to feel lost. You don't have to feel overwhelmed. You can just be like, Quickly, like, I need a shovel. Yep. Okay. Give me the pruning here. shears. Yep. yep, totally. They're all right here. Everything is exactly where you need. Come over here. We even have some of the. Oh cords, my gosh, yeah. These things. A lot of things can be really vertical. So everything. Because, I mean, just like these trellis nets, these hoops would take up, they'd just be stacked here, not efficiently. Right. Yeah. Right. And it's not necessarily serving you. But no. now it is serving you. You're using all this wall space. So then what do we do over here? Because this looks different now. Yeah. So all there was a lot of things hidden in probably like 15 cardboard boxes. We got rid of all the cardboard so that now you have visibility for everything. We put like items together. And then these we got Harbor Freight. Mm -hmm. They're stacking and they're for little itty bitty things that you can just grab and quickly find tomato clips irrigation yes and i think the beauty of it is like yeah maybe i don't need super quick access to my irrigation but that's fine i'll swap that into the other thing right. like i'll put it in sprinkler parts for example mm -hmm. and then i can put something that that needs easier access there right yeah exactly yeah. and then this was something that you already owned it was it was behind your shed mm -hmm. and instead of bringing it something that you have to pay for we just repurpose it and put all your garden signs in here oh amazing yeah. okay and great then also right here the same thing you had all these in a bag we took the bag in but it's now visible and easy to access so this is the part that's the magic right here this is yeah. the magic so we got these two shelving units and yeah. this was a table and it was really hard to see under and over but we were able to take all of your stuff out of the boxes and line them all up so now you can quickly take wow. a glance wow. and everything is at your fingertips accessible visible and like items together so yeah. you don't have to spend any time so you should satisfying be yeah you should be gardening not searching through your stuff or avoiding your stuff so now this it's just a really good investment in yourself in your business because yeah. It's all dialed ex exactly to you with yeah. our Waverly strategy. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the garage then, yeah? Let's do it. All right. All right. The second moment of truth is the Epic Garage. Let's open it up. I see some feet. I see a tiller. And look at this. Welcome to your garage. <laughs> Man, it even like visually looks amazing, just the symmetry of it all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So now you have floor space. Mm -hmm. And you also have access to your row machine. Yep. Um, we put pegboard here as well to use this vertical space so you can grab everything and see everything you need. We These are new. Uh huh. Yep. There are two new shelving units. So instead of the things just kind of spread on the floor, we're able to put five levels of your belongings consolidated together. We use clear bins so that you can quickly see what's in here. Nothing is getting forgotten or lost. You're yeah. not overbuying because you know exactly what you have. You're like, That's a good do I point. need to buy this, this, this? I don't. Because I try to keep things pretty minimal in my life in general, but yeah, I and mean, there's been times where I've you know, bought something twice on accident. Yep, exactly. So now everything is visible, accessible. We put two your two boards right here together using this small, long space. Mm -hmm. And they're together, you can quickly see. Your bike is ready for you. Your tools are ready for you. So this is the part that's nice for me because like this was supposed to be a workspace mm -hmm. and never was because you guys saw it when it started. It was just completely covered with stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like our stuff could be such a blessing, but too much, it just, it can take our energy, take our creativity. And so that's why having organization put in place can really help you long term. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. So like when, when you leave a uh, customer's house or client's house, mm -hmm. Do, they, do you recommend they do anything after? Because like, I just walked out and saw this, right? So I don't necessarily know exactly what's going on. Um, it's, I would say it's similar to keeping a garden. So once you do all the hard, we do all the hard work for you up front. After that, maybe like some light pruning. Can You can continue to Like that, stuff. light pruning, nice. Right, so you can take <laughs> stuff out. And sometimes too, when you're organized, it's like you feel more protective of your space. And you're mm. like, I don't use this. And mm. you have more satisfaction in your home so keep it you know maintain it if you buy more christmas just make sure you don't just toss it anymore but put it with the right, weather yeah you know yep. like if you buy more tape just put it you just take that little bit of extra time a little bit of sprinkling like mm -hmm. a garden you know and 
and that's how you'd maintain it. Okay. And it could serve you, but we have set you up to, for this to be. And it's, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't have too much in some of these, so I can, yep. you know, if I decide maybe I don't have a lot of games or something, I could repurpose that as a different one or, exactly. or whatever. Yep. And then eventually I could maybe build shelving or I could, I could, I could, it's nice because I can expand from a base that's not a total mess. Exactly. Right? So if I, I do need something custom because I've got the business or whatever, I can, I can do that in a way that doesn't make me go insane. Yes, yeah. exactly. And two, we try to like foolproof it where if you get something, there's really not a lot of shelf space to just like shove. Mm. You, know, you do have to take that extra second Yeah. because there's not a lot of space. Yeah, I can't just lazily toss it, you right? You can't, yeah. yeah. So you're going to have to either like be like replace games and get a new item or, you know, like you're going to have to put more thought into it, which will keep you honest long term. There you go. Will, long term to be like this this for you could be like lifelong i hope it is yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> amazing yeah. i've got to say i'm very pleased with how both the shed and the garage turned out i mean that tool wall is amazing there's some more configuration i want to do over here as well as over here maybe we'll even put more storage up but having like a baseline of good organizational practices for the homestead is clutch it's not my strong suit i'm organized in a different type of way not in the material world in the digital world i'm pretty organized but if you like this video and you want to see some more kind of off the beaten path type of vlogs like this one maybe cooking maybe organization that kind of thing drop it in the comments and until next time good luck in the garden and keep on growing